Man, oh man, man, oh man, wouldn't it be nice if the Bruins were able to play the Arizona Coyotes all the time? Wishful thinking, I know. But it's game number 27, and Boston gets a team that has given up the second most goals per game in the NHL. A team that is dreadful as of late on the, po on the penalty kill. What's the catch? Well, the catch is that this team's also the second highest scoring team per game in the NHL. That's right, I am talking about the New York Islanders, led by John Tavares, and just what a game this is going to be. Two very explosive teams, high scoring, Tuka Rask, Yaroslav Halak, and what a way to kick off The holiday season on the Bruins recap show. So after an entertaining but scoreless first period, we take things to the second period. It's Yaroslav Halak for the Islanders, Tuka Rask for the Boston Bruins, and Boston will get the power play. And it's Brad Marchand getting number 11 on the quest for 40 for the season. Tori Krug on the rush with speed. Gives it over to Brad Marchand with speed. And it's vintage Brad Marchand. Backdoor snapshot. And it's a thing of beauty. On the power play, 1-0 Boston. We go a little bit to the third period now. Boston maintaining that one goal lead. Jake DeBrusque, he had himself a fight. He got himself a 10-minute misconduct and a 2-minute penalty. He was gone for 17 minutes. He comes back in the third. Spinarama, and it's a goal. 2-0 Boston. Great play here as Tori Krug gives it over to DeBrusque. Goes to the front. Acts like he's going to make the pass. And like I said, just Spinarama and a goal. But the New York Islanders will get one back. They had a, a power play for the majority of this, but this counts as an even strength goal as about two seconds after the penalty expired. Some really good puck movement, a lot of bodies and traffic in front of Tuka Rask. Anders Lee gets a tip on a nice feed on the back door. Rask has absolutely no chance to make this, and there's just no way of covering it. He is the guy that it's uncovered. So 2-1 Islander, or 2-1 Boston, so, towards the end of the third period, and the Islanders will pull the goaltender, and it's Danton Heinen. Great defensive work here from Patrice Bergeron and Charlie McAvoy. Uh, Bergeron will get the puck over to Danton Heinen for the empty netter, the dagger in the heart. 3-1, a massive victory for the Boston Bruins here against a really game, really good, high-scoring Islanders team. Great defensive work from Boston tonight, holding them to only one goal. So we're going to take it real quick to the three stars of the game. Star number three, a goal, a fight, 10-minute major, 10-minute misconduct penalty. Jake DeBrusque, he, you, you got a long way to go to catch up to daddy, but one fight already. Star number two, two assists for Tory Krug. Great game from him as always. And star number one. Back to his old ways when he really wants to play, man. He can play. 30 big saves, only one goal that really he couldn't do much about. Two U's, two K's, two points in the Atlantic Division. Tuka Rask. And so next up, it's a Wednesday night Atlantic Division rivalry game as Boston looks to take on the original six team Detroit Red Wings. Should be a dandy. It'll be on the next Bruins Recap Show. This will be interesting, and what a way to kick off <laughs> 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 